and welcome back to another episode of coffee and stocks in today's video we are going to talk about an ev company that has really taken off to the skies it's somewhere up there we're all trying to reach it but before we get started can i please ask you guys to drop a like on this video as well as press that amazing subscribe button it does go a long way in supporting the channel i do thank every single one of the followers and subscribers that i do have you guys are just absolutely amazing don't forget every friday i will be doing a giveaway um for a dividend quote unquote dividend from this channel all you have to do is comment down below anything on each one of the uh, videos that come up for this week and that is your entry form um, and then I will be doing obviously just giving away the difference between in that stock that we talk in the week so definitely keep 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 that in mind also new year in this channel I will be doing a different kind of video each Sunday talking about how we can save more and more money and how we can put that money into work for you guys all right so which stock am I talking about today? And yes, that's it's absolutely right. Neo. Neo has been honestly taken off so fast. Currently going for $53.49. It does have a 9.75% green today. It has been really, really positive today. Uh, in the past month, yes, it's, it's had its ups and downs. Uh, but overall, it's been up 18.58%. And in the past six months, it's just incredibly high. Look at that, 364.73% to the upside. That is just wild. Like, if, like, if you guys got into this company pretty early, you guys had gotten much and so much freaking gains. If we look at the overall volume, it's at 161.53 million shares that have been exchanged today will average volume right and we talk about why lately a lot of more more and more companies have been trying to go into the ev section ev section right now is so hot and we talk about you know in the past months um we look at neo and they've been pumping out so many cars they've been pumping out so many cars china in general is just the biggest ev market that we currently have anywhere in the world right it's competing a lot with tesla and tesla did make a gigafactory in china and it's trying to compete with this but the thing is neo is backed up by the chinese government right so along with other companies as you can see as you can see down here xping and li auto right a lot of this company is just backed up by the government and once you you have a company that's backed up by the government you get tons and tons of money you get easier access to whatever materials you need you're able to produce more and more cars super easily we did have um neo in december uh their deliveries exceeded 7,000 in december alone which is 121 percent year on year that's an increase of 121 percent that's just amazing chinese ev vehicle uh, maker neo delivered a total of 7,007 new vehicles in december the fifth consecutive month with a record number of deliveries in a single month they just keep on hitting records day on day on uh or month on month on december's deliveries increased 32 0.4% from November and 121% from the same month last year. Uh, this also this is also the ninth consecutive month since April that Neo has increased a year-over-year -year growth rate of more than a hundred percent. That's just incredible. And as you can see right here, there's a little there's a little map that shows you annual deliveries, which is all of these, and the monthly deliveries, as is all of these right here. So starting in January of 2020, you can see that the monthly deliveries was around 1,500, uh, almost 1,600 cars, as you can see right there. And then obviously the Rona started hitting and that's why it dropped a little bit right here because China obviously got hit before we got hit. Um, so, but eventually, and don't even worry about the Rona because they look at this, look at this increase of monthly delivery cars going all the way up to 7,000 cars, 40, 43,000 in December, a lot well, during the whole year, but 7,000 vehicles in one month. 
that's just an incredible shot to the upside um, so the deliveries consisted of 2009 ES8s, the company's six-seater. Um, they also had 2,493 ES6s, um, the five-seater, and 2,500 ec 6s It's a little hard to say. In the fourth quarter of 2020, Neo delivered 17,000 vehicles, representing an increase of 11, uh, 111% year on year, which is freaking amazing. And uh, this is Lee Bin, founder and chairman of NEO, said in 2020, there has been a challenging year for the whole world. Against a backdrop, NEO has achieved consecutive record highs along the way and closed the year on a high note with a remo remarkable December deliveries of 7,000 vehicles. That is just quite amazing. Uh, you know, your company started super, super low less than a year ago, right? And then it just completely broke so many records. Uh, personal records uh, as well so that is very very amazing on what they did they have uh launched and this is uh yesterday i believe a uh, neo launched used cars trading business which isn't like the main focus right now obviously we are focused on the battery exchange that you're able to just you know change your battery out pretty quickly they are trying to come up with a different car or show a different car uh, that we're going to talk about in a little bit, but they're just coming up with so many things to talk about and so many catalysts uh, for their car, right? So China, as you guys know, is the biggest EV market right now or EV uh, globally. I think it holds like more than 50% or something like that. And you have to think in the beginning when Neo was coming over and there was talks about Neo, it was around $14, right? Now that it's at $53, everyone wants to jump in. Unfortunately, I think NEO at 53 is a little too high, but I believe that 53 is not high enough, right? It's high right now because I don't currently own any NEO. Um, and obviously I would like I would like to join NEO at like 30 so they could just explode to 100 because I believe they will reach that point. You know, 100 is very, very, very doable. And uh, and if we look a little bit further, um, China, as you can see right here, China's EV sale could reach 6 million units in 2025. That is astronomical, right? China's sales might reach 1.8 million units in 2021, which is up 40% from the uh, last year, right? In 2020, Individuals, individual EV consumption has increased to nearly 70% this year from 20% two years ago. That is a huge factor. A lot of the EV companies that we've been talking about last year, a lot of the EV companies that we will talk about this year have a huge potential to jump in this super hot sector. Everyone wants EVs right now and it's, EVs are definitely going to be the future, so you should definitely have at least some stocks that are in the EV sector because it is exploding. China sales, uh, vehicle sales growth might keep stable in the next five years and reach 30 million units by 2025, and they expect obviously 6 million units in 2025. Uh, calculation shows based on the new energy vehicle uh, industry de de development plan, for 2021 to 2035 that expects sales of new energy vehicles to compromise 20% of the total new car sales by 2025. That's just incredible growth. I don't like, I can't stress enough how much uh, potential this screens, right? And it's not just this particular stock. Obviously China, uh, China has other companies that have been producing a lot of cars but neo is the one that a lot that it's the front runner of all these other companies right it's definitely a huge tesla competitor and especially since the neo the neo vehicles are a little less expensive uh obviously they're cheaper to get than tesla so that could play a huge huge factor a lot of companies i mean a lot of countries around the world are trying to go more into the greener ev vehicle companies and uh get a lot of more ev vehicles obviously so this is definitely a huge opportunity for neo itself do i think that you guys should join at 5349 well 
I say just wait a, a, a tiny bit. This huge increase of 9.84% to $53 hasn't really been um, based on a lot of news. Uh, but don't get me wrong. I was talking about Neo um, when it was at $41 and I was like, well, this is a little too high. I didn't expect it to jump this much. So obviously I'm not a financial advisor. Do not take my words as advice. Neo has definitely, definitely surprised me. Um, I do want to join in this company as soon as I can. Um, hopefully at a better price than $53.49. But I do suggest you guys doing your research on this and joining as soon as you can. Don't forget to drop a comment down below. Tell me how or at what price you guys got Neo. And I mean, obviously, I support you guys if you guys want to join Neo uh, because I think it's going to make a huge, huge difference in the future. All right. Well, don't forget to drop a like on this video as well as press the amazing like subscribe button. It does go a long way in supporting the channel. Keep in mind, I will be doing a giveaway this end of the week. Dividends. Uh, definitely keep in mind and if you've missed any other one of my videos don't forget to click on them as well and i will see you guys next time on coffee and stocks